Hello and welcome to cookingflavors.com. For today's video as part of our beautiful home series, we look at the 20 most essential kitchen tips. This video is exclusively for beginners, but everybody can take tips, tricks and ideas from this video. Tip 1: Tie up your hair. This might sound a little unpleasant or some of you might even find it silly when I say tie up your hair but definitely do tie up your hair or braid it up or put it into a knot especially when you're entering into the kitchen to do some cooking because none of us would want to see any hair in our food. Do you? I would definitely never want to see any hair in my food. Tip 2. Keep ingredients at arm's reach. Whenever you're cooking, make sure all the ingredients that you require, just at least the basic uh, ingredients that you require at, at arm's reach or at easy distance for you to access, especially when, you're, uh, when your oil is already getting hot. You can't be fishing for your ingredients last minute. So make sure uh, you have all ingredients ready. Like if you see, this ingredient section is very uh, close to my stove. So make some kind of arrangement to keep your ingredients very uh, at easy access. Tip 3. Keep utensils handy. Just like we got our ingredients at arm's reach, make sure all your utensils are at one place or somewhere convenient for you to uh, handle all of them. That's another important tip. Tip 4. Keep hand towels handy. Always when you're in the kitchen, make sure you have some kind of hand towel or a kitchen towel uh, ready to use. Uh, supposing you spill anything, you know, you, just like that, immediately you want to wipe something, you want to wipe your hands. Keep this always ready and at uh, easy access. Tip 5. Water for cooking. Always keep your cooking water ready, be it in a drum or a jug or any kind of container that you're keeping. Make sure that container uh, for cooking water is always full because for any cooking that calls for water, that minute you can't be opening the tap and filling it and then you can't be measuring it. It'll take a lot of time. So always keep your cooking water ready and make sure the container is full. Tip 6. Make use of a spoon rest. Whenever you're cooking, see, immediately you can use a spoon rest to uh, rest your spoons or ladles on that. There are a lot of spoon rests that are specially called spoon rests that are available in the market. But I'm just using this kind of a tray. This came as a set with something, with some bottles. It came as a set. So I'm using this as my spoon rest because it's perfect and heat resistant. You don't have to particularly buy a spoon rest. You can keep some a plate or exclusively for resting your spoons and ladles. The main idea behind this is not to mess your countertop because cleaning becomes a little difficult after it gets dried. So make use of a spoon rest like this. Tip 7. Always have trivet mats or hot mats. Uh, those are sold exclusively for keeping hot things. You can have something like this or some rings or stands like this. Because if your countertop is granite or marble, they will be heat resistant, no problem. But if you have something like mine, which doesn't take in heat, you definitely need to have something like a trivet mat or a hot mat or a hot pad. Because when you're carrying something hot and you don't know where to put it, you might end up pouring it on, on yourself or when kids are around, it's quite dangerous. So always have them already another tip in that itself is make sure that these mats the trivet mats are very next to your stove because immediately from your uh, stove when you want to take it out of the burner and when you want to put it it's handy when it's next to the stove make use of pot holders pot holders comes in different uh, styles and varieties like the cloth pot holders or the mitten kind or even the stainless steel indian kind of pot holders make use of them Tip 9. Ingredients that help you in the last minute. Uh, make sure you always have a few onions, a few tomatoes, some chili powder, turmeric powder and a salt. If you have just these ingredients and if you don't have anything else, you can make a lot of wonders, a lot of cooking with just these items. So make sure you just have these always handy at home. Tip 10. Reserve one veggie from each batch. This step tip is especially for working women. At the end of the week, when you run out of vegetables in the morning rush hours, you don't know what to cook. This tip is exclusively for you. See, in this tray, if you see, I have just one carrot, one tomato, just a few onions, three to four beans and three to four tandoora. What I do is throughout the week, for example, Monday, if I'm cooking beans, I'll just reserve two, three beans from that. Tuesday, if I'm cooking tandoora, I'll just reserve two or three three tandoora from that so friday if i don't have any vegetables left and i don't have time to run to the market i you can just 
make a sabji out of these vegetables or make a curry a korumbu or even a mixed rice out of it so this uh, tip will come in very very helpful to you especially if you are uh, running out of vegetables at the end of the week tip 11 prevent your cutting board from moving while uh, cutting Uh, see whenever you're using a cutting board uh, this tip applies even when you're making chapatis when you're rolling your uh, chapatis see when i'm uh, doing this since my counter top is very smooth my cutting board will move now use a mat like this an anti skid mat this is not even anti skid mat i don't even know for what they sell that mat but thus this mat came in very handy for me when i uh, cut uh, with the mat below it my cutting board doesn't move if you don't have a mat or if you are uh, you don't uh, get those mats available you can also use a wet cloth like this just put it under the board and put your board on top of it and now your board will not move the same tip as i told you will apply even when you're rolling your chapatis tip 12 clean your stove top then and there as you're cooking there'll be a lot of spills and a lot of uh, mess that falls on your uh, stove top so as and when you keep cooking then and there uh, wipe it off with a damp cloth or even a dry cloth because once it gets dried it's going to be a little difficult for you to uh, clean it then you can do the deep cleaning later tip 13 clear your sink immediately as and when you are cooking and as and when you keep piling up your sink with a lot of vessels it becomes a little difficult uh, so then and there if you're using a dishwasher load all your vessels into the dishwasher or if you're hand washing them make sure you hand wash them immediately another important tip here is uh, see there's a lot of trash and garbage that unknowingly we uh, throw into the sink which keeps uh, getting collected so i use a sink strainer like this this did not come with the sink i purchased it separately so it catches all the trash and garbage and you can dispose it off uh, separately uh, this prevents your uh, sink from getting uh, clogged uh, so always make sure you keep your sink neat and clean at the end of the day you can thoroughly uh, do a deep cleaning of the sink tip 14 keep a separate bag for uh, trash if you had seen in my kitchen organization video my trash can is below the sink so i always keep a trash bag like this on the counter top and as and when i keep cutting or peeling or any kind of mess that i wipe with my tissue paper all that goes into the trash bag at the end of my cooking session i just wrap up or bundle up this trash bag and throw it into the trash can so if you don't have easy access to your trash can keep a, a trash bag like this on your counter top for all the uh, cooking mess that we do tip 15 keep a pen and paper or a notepad exclusively for the uh, kitchen always make sure you have a marker board or a paper and pen or a notepad uh, in the kitchen to write in all your grocery list or anything that you need to uh, purchase any kitchen items that you need to uh, purchase handy tip 16 weekend preparation uh, especially if you are working a women and uh, you don't have time during the entire week make sure you do some kind of weekend preparations like uh, grinding your idli and dosa batter which will uh, serve you for your breakfast like almost half of the week or even the entire week or if you have to make some kind of uh, uh, powders ready like your masala powders ready or your porridge powders ready you can get that ready or if you have to grind your ginger and garlic paste or if you want to even uh, cut some of your vegetables in advance or you have, want to make your chapati do all that you can do during the weekend when you're off from work or even if you are a stay at home person you can do some kind of weekend preparations to make your uh, weekdays a little light tip 17 make use of your uh, tv time we all watch tv at least for an hour or so during the day so during that time if you have a lot of work uh, to be done what you can do is simultaneously as you're watching tv or listening to music you can clean your greens or you can cut your vegetables you can knead your chapati dough you can sit down relax and do this work so it's multitasking you, your work is done at the same time you're watching your favorite show and uh, your work is done in a very calm and relaxed manner when you enjoy doing it this way tip 18 turn off your gas and power when you have finished your cooking always ensure that your gas or your power is uh, turned turned off correctly and there's no supply going on uh, because you don't want any accidents to happen especially when you are away tip 19 exercise caution when kids are around uh, make sure that your gas is turned off your power is turned off you don't keep any sharp items like your knife at uh, children's reach uh, and make sure you're very very careful when children are around 
Tip 20, the last and final tip, wake up to a clean and a neat kitchen. However busy you are, however tired you are at the end of the day, make sure you keep your kitchen neat and clean when you go to bed. Just clean up a little, uh, clean your sink, uh, wipe your countertop nicely and thoroughly, wash all your vessels and uh, keep because uh, it's even if you're tired the previous night, you won't always wake up to a very fresh kitchen to start your day anew. So if you enjoyed this video today, please do give us a thumbs up and post in your comments and suggestions. If you are new to our channel, subscribe to our channel and do not forget to click on the bell icon to get all our updates immediately. Till we see you again with another new and interesting video. Thank you and happy cooking.